one, go. Okay, today we're going to be doing a lab using Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law says that the force on a spring, which is your Fx, is directly related to the elongation of the spring, which is the x that we're gonna have in our equation over here. The k in our equation is the spring constant, and that's what we're going to be solving for when we obtain our data today. Um, when we do so, we're gonna use a graph. So we're gonna have our force on the spring on the y-axis, and the force on the spring in this lab will be the weights that we are hanging. So it's a vertical force, so that vertical force will cause the spring to stretch. So that will be our half Newton weights that we're gonna use on our lab. On our x-axis, we're gonna have our elongation, which is the stretch of the spring. And then if we take our Fs equals Kx equation and solve for the slope right here, our change in y over change in x, so the force on the spring versus the elongation, the slope here will represent our spring constant, which is the letter K. Okay, let's go grab some data. Now, the stiffer a spring is, the higher the spring constant is, and the looser a spring is, the lower the spring constant. So we're gonna do two different springs for our lab. So this is a stiffer spring right here. So this spring would have a higher spring constant, and this is a looser spring right here. So this one is gonna have a lower spring constant. When we do our lab, we're gonna be hanging a bunch of half Newton masses. Let me find one that's clear. That's one you can see right there. Half Newton masses. So each one of these is half Newtons. And we're gonna hang them from our Hooke's Law apparatus. And when we hang each one from the Hooke's Law apparatus, we're gonna measure the elongation or the stretch in centimeters. Now, before we can start to measure that, we have to calibrate our Hooke's Law apparatus. So we're gonna look at this needle over here and we want that needle to be at zero. So I'm gonna pull my Hooke's Law apparatus ruler down so that I can get that zeroed out. And that looks to be at zero. So my pin right now is at zero centimeters. And then for each half Newton mass that I'm gonna hang on here, we'll figure out how much the spring stretches. And once again, each half Newton represents the force on the spring and the X, which is the elongation, will be represented by our ruler measurement over here. Okay, let's start collecting the data. This is a half Newton weight. So for 0.5 Newtons, we have a spring stretch of how much is that? It looks to be about 1.8. 1 1.8 centimeters. So now I'm gonna add another half Newton. So we are now at one Newton. So for a one Newton force, we have a elongation here of three point five. Yep, I got it. Yeah, three point five centimeters. I'm adding an additional half Newton right now. So we're at one point five Newtons. One point five Newtons. And I would say that's about five point two. 5.2 centimeters. This is my fourth mass. So at my fourth mass, I'm now at two Newtons. And at two Newtons, I would say, once we stop bouncing, we are at about 6.9. Yep. 6.9 6. centimeters. Um, so I'm adding my fifth mass. So we are now at 2.5 Newtons. And I would say at 2.5 Newtons, we're about 8.6 centimeters. 8.6 centimeters. This is now my sixth mass, correct? One, two, three, four, five, six mass. So I'm at three Newtons. And at three Newtons, my elongation is 10.4 centimeters. Yep, 10.4 centimeters. And this is my last one. So this is my seventh mass. So this is 3.5 Newtons and it looks to be just exactly at 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters. Now we're gonna do the same experiment again on this spring, but as I mentioned before, this second spring is a looser spring. It's gonna have a lower spring constant, so we may not be able to get obtain as many data points um, because we may stretch our spring past the limit of our Hooke's Law apparatus. So if we go over here, let's just make sure this is calibrated correctly. So I'm gonna move it down a little bit so that our needle is exactly at zero centimeters. And we'll start off with our first mass. Once again, it's a half Newton mass, or each of these is a half Newton. So our first mass, which is a half Newton, 
and the stretch on that half newton is 2.5 centimeters. 2.5 centimeters. So our second mass, which would now make our weight one newton or our force on the spring one newton, gets us to 4.9 centimeters. 4.9 centimeters for one newton. Our third weight, which would put us to 1.5 newtons, and our stretch there would be 7.4. Nope, yeah. 7.4 centimeters. Um, we are now on to our fourth mass, which gets us to 2 newtons. And our fourth mass, which is 2 newtons, is, I would say, 9.8 centimeters. 9.8 centimeters. And this and is going to be our fifth mass. And let's see if this takes us off. Yep. So our fifth mass. Uh, no, I, I think it's over. Okay, yeah. so our fifth mass we have now stretched past when we can measure here. So now what you'll do is you'll take all of the forces, all of the elongations, you'll put them into a Google Sheets, and based on your slope, you'll be able to solve for the spring constant for these two springs.